Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Battle Bands. Uh, this is this is a difficult one to explain, but a short story is it is a deck builder. Um, now, though it is a deck builder, there's a lot of things going on with this game. Some of them I understand and some of them I do not. Um, but I'm going to try and parse out which, which is which and talk about what I like and what I don't like about this one. It's an interesting one, to say the least, and it's definitely trying to do a lot of things differently. Um, from other games, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it definitely uh, points for trying here, but we're gonna we're gonna get into it I'm gonna jump jump into a, a game uh, we have a our uh, Merry gang of four musicians ready to ready to build some decks and and uh, what was it was it do some slick uh, licks I don't know. I don't know the 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 slingo, you know the bingo uh, I do know that bingo was his name. Oh so, uh, you know, it, maybe that's worth something. So we've got our map. Uh, I have to appreciate that they've done something a little bit different from the stock standard, um, like, tree of three choices, and you can do one or the other kind of thing. Uh, what about you gives you that edge to win? So this is our, like, you're starting the game, you get one benefit. Uh, let's just take this quick dig. As if I understand. Listen, I, I did the tutorial and I've played this game and I, I semi understand how it works, but it's a very strange game. Um, and I think that uh, it may not resonate with everyone um, simply because even you, you could you could like study the, the kind of meta strategies of this game and um, try and figure out synergies and stuff, but it still not necessarily succeed at it. I have to. All right, so we're picking a, a card for each of our bandmates. Um, this is a common performance. I kind of like the idea of this one. It, this one gives us more hype, and also, but it also costs more energy. So I'd almost rather get uh, something like this that costs zero energy but gives us one hype. And then this one is a base performance again, three hype for one energy. That's pretty good. On play, band draws two. This sounds good. So we're we're doing uh, a performance. We're also fighting against the real doggos. What was that? The real doggos. So um, we are. I'm playing as myself here. I'm the center. I'm the the guitarist. Um, but they we have with us four NPCs. Sorry, three NPCs that are also playing with us. This is a co-op game. You can play this with uh, your friends if you want. You can have them all be a different performers but here's what's happening is they're all playing cards at once we're all playing cards at once and we're um you have to kind of like get a song going they've done a bass song section and i'm gonna try i'm gonna play something on there to tr try and get the oh no that's a that's a beginning so we're gonna do a just a general performance and that's all of this is raising hype we can see how much hype we're, we're raising the more hype we, we get, the better. Uh, that's how we win. If we want to get the 60 hype to basically win the game or win this current performance. So I'm going to go ahead and play as much as I can. We'll end our turn. We can see how much we've, we've generated. And here's, here's like, I, I like this idea on paper more than I like it in practice. The idea that we're all playing cards. We're all um, kind of like jamming together. It's a neat idea. Um, but I think that it, it, it struggles maybe to, uh, to work because the thing is, is I don't really know what my bandmates have and there's no way to really find out in time. You can't really, um, you, this is not a deck builder where you, you can agonize over, uh, each turn and maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing that I can't agonize over, over the turn and try and like build um, like optimal synergies. I personally don't really like to have to optimize every single turn. So like, you know, good news, This in this game you basically can't because I can't know what my bandmates have. I can't know what they're going to play and they're just gonna play them like whenever. You can, there's not really any turns here. I can play these cards whenever. So really what I'm doing is I'm looking for these optimal turns or it's like, okay, they played this card and my card synergizes with their business. Um, and I can also play cards that will like give them energy. So maybe they can continue jamming with with me. And then maybe it's really just sort of about building, um, you know, the cards that work with your teammates. 
Now that being said, I'm not sure which, like when we're playing co-op, I haven't had a chance to play this co-op yet. And you can just like play with randoms if you want. But uh, if you're playing co-op, I'm not sure if maybe they pick their own cards to to like add and, and if they can like be a bit more picky choosy about how they perform with uh, their their uh, uh, bandmates. But like, it's it's kind of a big question. And I, you know, from my from my limited playtime with the game, I haven't been able to really figure out. It hasn't really um, worked for me in terms of like how how to optimize, how to how to synergize. I haven't really been able to figure it out. Um, so I, I don't know if it'll work necessarily for everyone, but I do really like the idea of it. I, first of all, I like the idea of a co-op um, deck builder. This is not the only de co-op deck builder I've seen, um, but it's at least a novel idea of this kind of like real-time card playing game. I also really like the art style and I really like the theme of the whole thing. The idea, like if you're going to do a co-op deck building game, the idea of making it like kind of a... Uh, a battle of the bands where all of your bandmates are working with you to make like the coolest song i think that actually that's that's really fun theming and it, it works with the cards i don't know if i can play this i have more energy now because one of my bandmates played played a card that gave me energy i'm basically not paying attention at all to what they're playing because i couldn't possibly kind of parse it all out the cards are not necessarily super complicated at all um but like them like combined all together it makes for a fairly complex uh set of of turns and and circumstances so we've won for sure here unless they can kind of match us here but they can't uh you'll see these shields here that that um allows for some protection some of our car my cards will do some damage to their hype um and so you can you want to like throw up protection um you'll want to have some more card draw i am just struggling to figure out remember what some of these extra icons mean um the they're not even that complex but basically i just like take what makes sense and and uh play what makes sense in the given moment one thing i do like one mechanic i do appreciate in this game and uh this was uh this was in grift lands as well i think it was grift lands but um when you uh play a card it uh, gets kind of an upgrade node it, it, you sl you're slightly upgrading it. You'll see these upgrade bars at the bottom. So the more you play them, the more you fill it up. And eventually, uh, once you've filled it up completely, that card gets a per like upgraded permanently. I really like that. Um, I think that's a little bit more elegant than like, you know, a lot of the deck building games where it's like, oh, uh, here's your shrine. Uh, you can either choose a card to remove or you can choose a card to upgrade. It's, you know, that's fine. That's good as a reward. But I also like the idea of like the more you're playing, um, you know, your instrument, the more it's upgrading it, the more you're playing a card, the more you're you're getting better at that kind of a lick. Um, and other band song section. So this is uh, for our drummer. Negative one hype for other bands. So this is an attack card. We'll take that. Uh, while in play, plus four bands protection. So this one... Well, while it's in the current song performance, um, it will offer us some protection and other band song section. Oh, this is actually a really cool one because it will stop them short in any passive benefits they're getting from their current song. Um, we'll take this one. This seems like a good card. I, I, I'm going to pretend I know what it does. And then this is a song starter, uh, I believe. This will like start a new section. So you want to have a good balance of song starters along with like a song just like basic licks so that you can contribute to the current lick as well as start one yourself so uh i i didn't make it in time and that's why i say i think it's a little bit difficult to try and synergize with your bandmates but we managed to get everything out i don't have enough energy to um get my other card but someone managed to play something that gave me energy so i can contribute to the current song I'm wondering if we can both finish this song and also give me energy. Everyone's out of, oh, well, Boots here has energy to spare, but um, didn't finish the song. That's fine. We managed to um, accumulate a good amount of hype, I think. These songs also, I, I think that's what these mean. Um, they have a limit to how many time, how much you can contribute to them. 
I can't, I can't remember if it's either the eight might mean like how much hype you can generate from finishing them and then the 10 is like their maximum like how much you can contribute to them before they uh like auto finish we'll, we'll wanna i want to upgrade some of these so that that finished and i think we did generate some hype from from finishing that hurt feelings bummer performance <laughs> I don't know. I think this is a card that the enemy band uh, gave to us. I do. Uh, I really actually appreciate the um, like I, I've said it, but I, I, I do really like the art style in this game. I also really appreciate the variety in uh, like the different bands. Like we were just fighting like dogs. I've seen uh, like a, a, a kind of a mech like junker car, um, like a solo bandmate playing the playing the, the the part of the entire band, which was kind of fun. Let's try and get rid of this. Oh, they threw a card in my hand so like i don't know i feel like i really do kind of feel like the um the real time gameplay here both helps you know it, it does it does something for this and it also hinders a little bit that's my own personal feeling i don't know i really don't know how i feel personally about a real time deck building game or deck playing game card playing game um, I, I struggled with this in real life. I generally don't like uh, dexterity based games, but especially when it comes to cards where you have to like play the card as quickly as possible. I generally don't like those kind of games. So this is probably a very much a uh, personal preference thing. They're giving me more hurt feelings. I don't have to play those. It costs two energy to play. It would actually be better if I just uh, like ignored them. We want to upgrade our cards as much as possible. This one's already fully upgraded, so it'll upgrade at the end of the performance. I could get, had some more energy i could play our guitar song section but i can't we were one hype short of uh beating them and our reward i guess here is uh, you get these these hearts um every time you go to a performance like you move around on the map you lose one of those hearts uh, and i made the mistake on my first game as i moved a couple of times before i started playing a performance or doing a, a battle so i actually lost a bunch of uh health for basically no reason <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna hold out and hope that they we finish this and then I'm gonna do my guitar song section there we go I think the end turn just means I'm ending my turn so oh I think we, we we're just barely there this this is this battle um this band here is very aggressive though they seem to want to remove our hype more than generate their own so I don't think that this is gonna be enough hype to actually finish yeah we're at negative nine if they do one more, then we'll have lo uh, we'll, we'll have to generate some more hype. It seems like they couldn't, so we're good. GG. I think that's mostly for the benefit of doing multiplayer, because you will actually battle other players, I think. Uh, acquaintances, I believe these are um, passive benefits that stay out on the field. Like, they will they give you, yeah, every two turns, they, they give you some more hype. So there's, those are pretty good. This is, a, we're choosing the upgrade for this card, so meaning we've already upgraded this card. Um, and these are three different upgrades for the same card. So you could try and, uh, you know, optimize a little bit, um, pick, pick upgrades that work better for your deck. What those upgrades are, I'm not really sure. I really don't know how to play this game effectively, if I'm being honest. Um, it's not the game's fault. I just, um, like, you know, I think every, every game has kind of a learning curve. Uh, and this, you know, this game's no different. I think the, the, the real time elements, um, have, you know, they're, they're a curve ball for me and we could do an event or uh we could just do another battle let's do another battle middle click cards in hand to notify bandmates okay so i i, I remember that that was a thing I, I didn't remember now but you know i knew that was a thing i i, I really can't say like what what cards are gonna work better together than others it's hard for me to say there aren't like obvious synergies there's obviously things like you know card draw um attack cards uh energy generating cards hype generating cards but like um I, there's no like obvious synergies where things kind of work better together at least it not obvious to me and i I, th I think i'm pretty versed in deck builders so we're playing against uh i think those are peanuts fritos i don't know what they are <laughs> chicky dickies it could be nuggets i think they might be nuggets actually okay let's get our guitar um song section out there i guess i could like do this i can play a sick riff and i guess like if i was playing against in multiplayer if i was really like on on the ball like i just knew exactly what i was doing and we everyone knew what was going on 
then me saying, hey, by the way, I have a power cord, someone could click on that and then like actually look at what it does and know how it helps. Uh, and maybe if they needed more cards, they could be like, yeah, sure. I don't know how you'd say like, ha yeah, can you see? Yeah, I can play this. Okay, so we have chat commands. So like they, they have, you know, they have done something to try and, and get people to work together. But let's be honest, if you're playing against randoms, do you think that people would actually do that? Maybe. You have uh, about a minute and a half to play your cards, which is honestly enough time that you could agonize a little bit if you wanted to. Something they are trying, I, I wanted to kind of mention this, is um, the, the developers of this game are really trying to encourage um, people to play the game in interesting ways in that you have like a kind of character customization. There's actually already, even with the just like base clothes and uh, character customization, I was able to make myself rather, uh, you know, accurately. There's some pretty good custom character customization. You can also customize your van. Um, but then there's also like kind of like super stylish deluxe um, skins and stuff and hats and and all kinds of costume pieces. So like the question is, um, do you have to pay for all of those? Well, as far as I can tell, no. It's a rather odd way of of uh, doing it. I feel like they they're you know they're almost like <laughs> they're just being paid an exposure in a way because uh, they're trying. It seems to me that. Um, most of these are rewards for just playing the game like it's like okay you get your daily rewards of uh you know i, I need to play a certain number of s slick licks and i need to do a certain number of this and win a certain number of battles and maybe i need to do the daily challenge and so you get your daily rewards of a certain amount of like in-game currency as far as i know there's no premium currency which is just kind of like i i, I keep looking for it I keep looking for it to find this like you can't have an in-game like shop and currency and customization and skins and styles without there being some kind of premium currency where's the catch what what are you trying to like what what's the what's the game here so we could do a, an event I'm not sure uh what that does get closer they're a huge fan an eel pops out to greet you um random bandmate gets one super fan uh, band gets Shady S Steve's Super Shades. They bite when- Oh, I see. So there's a chance of one of these things happening or of one of these. Or I could just, like, get one health. Let's- let's take a chance. Rolling the dice. I lost one. And I get one regret. Okay. Okay. I love this art so much. For real. This, uh, the art and, and also the music, it must be said, um, kind of uh, definitely attracted me to this game. I'm not sure if we're trying to get into the battle arena, but I'm, I'm going to assume that we, uh, we're not ready for the battle arena. We're probably trying to train up as much as possible. Again, I just, I'm very impressed by the art in this game. It's just a lot of fun. Exhaust on play, plus three for other band, plus one band's hype for every stupefied sympathy in active song section. Okay, we want to keep those then, I guess. Oh, someone got rid of... Okay, well, if we're all getting rid of our sympathies, then I think that will actually help us a bit. We've almost got a... There's almost like a... I keep... I feel like I keep saying this, but we've almost got like a Sonic Adventure style music going on. Man who's only played one video game thinks everything sounds like that one video game. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be brutal defeat uh, okay so once you get past like into the win condition if they match and and uh, pass you then they win but uh, I have to say like I am interested in this I, I would like to play more of it but I I don't think that this like this game is deceptively deep um, and it might look like a good uh, option for like a co-op deck building game and I, I think that you could you could potentially have a lot of fun with it, but it's it's a lot more complex than, than at first um, appearance. And uh, working together is going to be something that you're going to have to figure out uh, quite quite a bit. So this thing is going to generate 13 hype when it's completed. This one card complete generated 14 hype, 21 hype. Okay, okay, buddy. And they killed my crew. 60 hype on their first turn 
and they didn't even complete their song uh, we, I can uh, show off maybe some of the character customization, but I don't know if that's necessarily what I mean to do um, As much as like just like I, I think it's interesting that they're trying to do this whole like season pass Like battle pass thing, but it doesn't cost money. Nothing seems to cost money It seems to cost this like in-game currency and I've, I've really tried to find is there a way that I can spend money on this like in-game currency and I really can't find a way so I, I have to like, uh, like give, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think it's just an, um, an incentive to play the game. You can see I have my my dailies up here and it'll give me experience, which will help me unlock things in my battle pass. So like, you know, is it taking advantage of the whole FOMO thing? Like, you know, oh, I'm, I really want to unlock my, my season thing. So I can only earn on the second season. I'm not sure then what the purpose is of showing me the first season there. Maybe just to see like what how, like the things I could have unlocked, but I'm not sure. And if I oh look at that, I could get a I could get a crustacean suit oh, and a sand van. And you know what? That's cool. Sure. Like you know, and the, if, if if it's just an incentive to play the game, I think that is fine. I think that that's fine. Um, <laughs> like you know, honestly. Um, it, I, I've never seen it really done before, but if you're gonna if you're gonna use some of these tools just to incentivize people to play, so that there's people playing in in multiplayer, like we could we could do Royale mode and fight against 63 other bands in an online tournament. So you know we could do that, and then uh, you know there's some reason to have a character customization and obviously to have extra skins and hats and stuff like that. So. Um, who am I to, to complain about it? If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.